Hey guys, Assalamu alaikum. Hello, hi, and welcome to Cooking is Fun with Firdaus. And guys, today we are going to make one of the um, mouth watering recipe, and that's none other than achari fish masala. So, whenever we hear, we hear the word achar or pickle, I'm sure many of us are drooling right now. And uh, here, I'm going to not only teach you how to make achari fish masala, but also how to make achari masala. So, these are the list of ingredients that you will be needing in order to make achari masala. A detailed list of ingredients is there in the description box guys so please go and have a look there and here is dry lemon powder or amchur powder which is also called dry mango powder if you don't have this you can substitute with the um, uh, lemon extract and fish of course okay guys to make the achari masala we need a nice thick bottom pan and we will add around two to three tablespoons of oil now here you need to uh, bring the oil to a nice high temperature where it comes to a boiling point but it doesn't boil the oil should not boil you just you, you you just need to heat at a high temperature and then switch off the flame immediately and after like 10 seconds or 15 seconds you will start immediately adding in the seeds to it so that this will avoid burning off the seeds and they will get roasted at the right temperature so here you will add all the seeds as mentioned in the description box a uh, half half teaspoon of each and just for the fenugreek one fourth teaspoon and then you will slightly roast them switched off the flame you will roast them and you will ensure that they are not burnt if they are burnt throw them away you, i mean make and make it another time and then you will add your red chili flakes to it roast them well you will feel a beautiful achari aroma in your kitchen when you're doing this so ensure that you're not burning but you're feeling the aroma all over the kitchen okay so once you do that you're um, let them cool down a bit and then you can grind them into a fine paste so add them to a blender and add little bit of water if needed but before that add turmeric powder of course it's required and then blend well See? and now to this blended masala you can add uh, lemon extract or lemon powder i'm just showing both and half a teaspoon of garlic powder to it and then salt as per your taste now mix this well together and you will marinate each and every chicken piece individually ensuring that you coat the chicken very well with this achari masala and this marination should rest for about at least 15 minutes before you start frying them in a pan or in a wok or in a nice flat pan which is thick enough so add enough quantity of uh, oil like about at least four to five tablespoons we will be needing depending on the fish here i'm using a wok so i'm using around three to four tablespoons and then i'm just adding in the fish and i'm going to let the fish cook in this wok for another five to ten minutes in a medium to low flame okay after five to ten minutes let me check on my chicken sorry <laughs> let me check on my fish okay this looks perfectly cooked i'm going to flip each and every fish and cook again this is black palm fret and it's very soft kind of a, a fish and we need, we need to be really careful while flipping it otherwise we can end up breaking the fish. So once you flip the fish, let it cook for another 5 minutes. Okay, while the fish is getting cooked, we need to start working on our tempering part here. Uh, the second tempering here to the same pan just add 1 teaspoon of oil, uh, curry leaves, mustard seed and dry red chilli and pureed tomato so ensure that you cook this on a very very medium to low flame not in a high flame add red chili powder and cook until the oil loses out now both are ready the tomato and the fish is ready so once this is ready we will just pour in the tomato puree on the fish and mix them well together and once you mix them let this cook for another 5 to 10 minutes and after 5 to 10 minutes your achari fish masala will be ready to be served you can also add some uh, chopped coriander to it and after 5 10 minutes it's ready as i'm telling you you can see that and believe it or not the aroma is beautiful <laughs> so here you go some delicious achari fish masala made at home and it's very very yummy you should definitely give it a try and uh, Please, I request you all uh, to stay at home and stay safe. And if you are going for shopping also, ensure that you follow 
all the precautions uh, whatever has been guided by the government uh, by WHO and uh, please ensure that you avoid uh, going for any social gatherings also please follow me on youtube channel cooking is fun with virdos which you all have been doing wonderfully thank you so much for that i'm also on instagram so please go to my instagram page it's cooking is fun with virdos or you can search by my name virdos nurayan and you can like and follow me as well as on the facebook page i have a cooking is fun with virdos page so please follow me on cooking is fun with virdos and stay blessed stay safe save lives stay at home take care till then allah hafiz